What's going on everybody? Trevels in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Wrench. Today we got another bottle review. We're covering Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C921. Can Elijah Craig Barrel Proof finish the year strong? Don't let me down, C batch. So, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C921. Third release this year. It's the final release of 2021. 2021's been a weird year for Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I feel like people have been very varied on their opinions of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof this year. Some people tend to absolutely love them. Some people are quite disappointed. So the C batch is typically always my favorite release, especially coming off the heels of C920. Just one of the most delicious things on the planet Earth. And then we had the 2021 releases. And you know, I don't know if people just genuinely didn't like them or they were truly hoping that they were going to be better than C920 and they just aren't, but we're going to try and go into this unbiased, just drink it and judge it for what it is, what it has to offer us. C921's coming in 120.2 proof, so sticking with the whole, relatively speaking, low proof for Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. The highest batch this year was like 123, and then the lowest was 118. This is sitting right in between them. I don't know if that was intentional or if it's just environmental factors that played a part into it, but sticking with the relatively speaking low proof. Let's check the side of the bottle, make sure they didn't screw with us. Still 12 years old, so they're at least not messing with that as of yet. I have drank this one a bit more. So if you guys remember the first video I did on the B521, I was very angry with the, I, I don't know. There's something, a, a note that I was getting on that bottle that just really turned me off. I was upset. I let my emotions come out, but I will be the first to admit that that bottle has gotten exponentially better as I've let it kind of open up, as I've drank it down a bit. More air has gotten to it. It, it has gotten better. Um, I've actually been blinded with it and it won uh, blinds that I do with it. So it's a good bottle. I, I kind of revisited it. I gave it a fair chance. That's what I kind of wanted to do with this one instead of just fresh cracking it um, not giving it a chance to open up and to evolve into its full potential. I wanted to give it some time to show me what it brings to the table. So, with all of that out of the way, let's just get right into it. Let's see if Seabatch can save the year. On the nose. Okay. Okay. We're off to a good start here. I was not very, you know, excited when I first smelled the B521. It's a good sign that I smelled this and I'm excited. The first thing that pops off to me is a little bit of ethanol burn, which, you know, kind of surprising uh, since they've dropped the proof. Usually C batches are over 130, but the ethanol kind of kind of shining through just a little bit. Second most prominent note would be the charriness. And again, C batches to me always seem to be extra barrel-y you know, extra amounts of char, picking up a lot of those barrel notes. Sea batches typically have that to me. That's why I love them, and I'm getting it on this. Almost a, a nutty characteristic, too. I tend to find Heaven Hill products nutty, kind of like Jim Beam, but, you know, not as nutty of a nut as the Jim Beam nut. And then behind all of that is a nice level of sweetness. It's, it's pretty sweet. Like a, like a vanilla sweetness, vanilla extract. So, so think darker, richer kind of sweetness. Maybe even like dark chocolate, but like a cooking dark chocolate, something, you know, maybe you don't want to eat it, but with all of the other flavors, it makes it into something you want to consume. All right, the true test. Um, I'm slightly nervous. The, the nose smells great. We're already off to a great start, but still, you know, is this going to dethrone C920? Let's find out. Let me just answer that question front and foremost. No. While that was good, um, and before we delve into what we were getting, it does remind me, and this is good, and as obvious as it sounds, reminds me of a C batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Those notes are there. The super charry, barely oaky notes, definitely there. They just don't seem as intense as 
maybe some of the previous C batches. And again, I'm not trying to put this on the pedestal. I'm not trying to make it be C920, but people are going to want to know, is this C920? I don't think so. C919, C920, you know, those guys are just the cream of the crop. They are as high as you can go. So of course, you know, I don't, I'm not disappointed with this, but when you say it's not that good, I'm not saying that it is as bad. It's just not at that level. So let's get back into it. Let's judge it for what it is. It's very mouth coating. You know, the, the charriness that I was talking about on C batches, it's there. Uh, again, it's not, it's not too much. It's not over the top. I think it's actually quite nice. It's at a nice level of maybe some people who aren't into those type of flavor profiles, I think they could dabble into this and enjoy them a little more. And I think it's there enough to where sea batch diehards are still going uh, to appreciate it. Nice levels of oakiness. T you know, 12 years old, Elijah Craig barrel proof, oaky. Just a note that we're expecting to get on it. A little bit of oakiness, some of that chocolatey dark chocolate coming through too. And again, with like a vanilla bean. I'm, I'm picturing the actual little vanilla plant and the stem and the wood and it's all in your mouth. A lot of oak, a lot of char, a lot of vanilla. Kind of like um, you're eating vanilla ice cream in the Rick House and you dropped a scoop and you said, it's friggin' hot in here and I can't waste the ice cream. So you lick it up, you get a couple of the splinters in your mouth it all molds together, that's what we got here. But in the best way possible. I will say, I'm pleasantly surprised with this, to be honest, I, you know, again, let this open up a bit, but I do remember, even when I freshly cracked this one, that I enjoyed it much more than I initially enjoyed the B batch from this year. What that tells me is knowing how good the B batch has gotten over the course of a couple months, it makes me feel like if I'm enjoying this this much and I've only had this open for about a week now, who knows what it's going to, you know, transform into in, in a month or two from now. In a month or two, will it dethrone C920? I don't know. We'll have to, you'll have to wait and find out. So far, I think that this might be my favorite batch of this year. It gives you those C batch notes. A lot of oak, a lot of that barrel charry, delicious goodness kind of burnt notes, but still nice and sweet. I think this is a great middle ground, like I said, between people who might have been turned off from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in the past, maybe that it was too hot. This is a little bit more approachable, but I still think it's still offering uh, the notes that, you know, the diehard fanboys are looking for, like me. All right, in conclusion, guys, you know, C921, thoroughly impressed with it. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Again, is this my favorite Elijah Craig barrel proof batch ever? Probably not, but I think it's safe to say that I am happiest. I am, I'm happy with the C batch. I don't really remember opening the A or the B and being like, dude, this is it. But with this one, I'm saying yes, I think I am a true C batch fanboy. Don't know what it is, don't know why, those batches tend to kind of all coalesce with each other. You know, it seems like A batches seem to all be one way, the B batches seem to be one way, and then the C batches tend to be their way. It so happens that my palate and I think quite a few other people really love the C batch flavor profile. This has it, there's no going in. It might not be the C920 killer, um, but only time will tell blind will tell us all. This definitely gets a recommendation for me. You know, at first, the B batch, you know, I was like, eh, maybe you should not get this one. As it has opened up, I would say, yeah, you should probably get it. This one right now, yes. If you see it, get it. If you if you like C batches, definitely get it. I think it's, it's good enough uh, to play play ball with us. All right, guys, that'll do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And until next time, guys, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video.